Boom. Steelhead. Here we go. Steelhead. Steelhead water. fishing challenge this time it's three hours but in reality because I'm gonna do a quick float a different from last time that an hour is gonna be taken driving there shuttling with my buddy Aaron getting on the water so that's gonna be boiled down to two hours of fishing so it's gonna be similar to last time but that's all I got who baby life it is hard to get away <laughs> when you're on baby duty so but I, anyways, I'm super blessed because I'm on paternity leave, right? So I'm getting a little break out of the house and I'm gonna be going to chase coho salmon again today. But the method, one thing I'm doing a little different today is I'm th I have all my hardware, okay? Spinner spoons, jigs, but I'm also going to be drifting eggs. Now I just got eggs from a coho a couple days ago and I cured them up and they look real good. But the difference about drifting is I my setup, I'm using um, what they used to call bouncing Bettys, I think they are. And they're large weights covered in like rubber that are meant to bounce down the river more grace, more naturally, but also to has, have less snags. They're far, fairly large. So a three quarter ounce weight like looks like a small, like a almost like a golf ball. But I'm gonna give those a try. I've got those tied on. Those bouncing Bettys drifting, I got about a three foot leader, egg loop knot, and I have a corky on there to get it, get it a little bit buoyant off the ground. And then I'm gonna have fresh, juicy coho eggs out of the same system that I'm gonna drip through. So I'm kinda hoping that that will actually give me some, uh, some luck there, and I'm gonna give that a try. So enough jabbing, let's jam to the river. Let's get on the water. Let's hook up with our boy Aaron, and let's go try to get two coho Salmon. My wife said she's going to pray for me to get two salmon today. That's always the goal, right? Limit. Uh, we'll see what happens. God bless you. Let's get out there and fish. Okay, I just want to show you what I'm taking with me again. So similarly, I'm going to take hardware. So we're going to take spoons, large spinners, medium spinners, and twitching jigs. So I'm going to fish hardware, but I'm also going to be drifting eggs. So in here is kind of like what I've got leader material and hooks corkies a little bit of yarn and then those drifting balls i told you like bouncing bettys and then i have a few accessories so this is what i'm going to take with me this is all i really need with some eggs uh hopefully I have some swivels in here wow good thing i just noticed that gotta make sure i have some swivels in this kit and then i'll be good to go Hey, my boat's faster than yours. <laughs> okay, now I'm kind of running a unique setup. I'm drifting eggs, but I'm doing it with this bouncing Betty style ball. Okay, and a leader with a corky and eggs. So that's what we're gonna do here. Put on a nice big fat thing of eggs. Oh my gosh, that I just cured. Sure cure. You gonna come through for me? We'll see. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh. 
Woo. There we go. We got our spinner ready. We're cruising. But that doesn't mean we can't catch a fish here. Right there. In that pocket. Oh, this hole is nice. I should have stopped. Oh, I got a fish on. It's probably a trout. Oh, something good. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a sucker. <laughs> it's a big sucker. <laughs> oh crap, I'm going down. I got a big pike minnow. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're gonna let this fish go. Then we're gonna cast up in their pocket. Check it out, we got a fish, let's see. All right, we still, oh, I'm gonna let you go, bro. Okay. Or oh, it's a whitefish, mountain whitefish. I've always wanted to eat one. Here we go. I'm not gonna keep this one, but. Jeez, he is strong. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I'm not looking for trout. Something about my. Something about my reel is messed up right now. The line, something's going on. It's there's resistance. And I need to put a spoon on. The spinner's riding way too high. Something's wrong with my reel. That's not good because it's like new. Oh. There we go. There we go. Look at this spot. Here we go. Boom. Steelhead, here we go. Steelhead. Steelhead water. Don't get off, don't get off. I'm not gonna one. Here. I've got one on, I've got one on. I've got one on. Like it's big. Okay, watch your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Good, good, good idea. Okay. Move out, walk out, walk out deeper. Walk out deeper so we don't have to get this right on the bank. Okay, I'm... Oh, Aaron. I know, I know. I'm gonna, uh, my pl plan is to drop him right into you, okay? Here we go. It might be a steelhead. Get this, Aaron, get it. <laughs> Tell me, is it hatchery or? Oh, oh it's a steelhead. It's a steelhead. Native, huh? Native. That's a, that's, that's, that might even be my PB. Oh, okay, okay, let it down a little bit so I can get this lure out of its mouth, okay? Yeah. Down, down, down. All right. <laughs> this is my PR, probably, Ooh. steelhead. <laughs> Hang on. Lose that baby. <laughs> Don't lose it. Okay. So we just got this. So we just got this nice hat or native steelhead. This thing is close to my PB. This thing is beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> beautiful fish. <laughs> Come in and get close on this now. Oh man. Look at that. What you want to shake hands with that's what we live for right there this this is what we live for Aaron yeah, that's why we're out here oh my gosh yeah.